What's up guys, as you know, today is the official day for the WWDC Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco and there's a lot to cover and I'm very excited uh, how it turned out to be, so let's get started. Uh, at first they talk about how they sold their uh, tickets over 57 countries, sold out in 8 days and over 5,200 attendees, so that's pretty cool. Uh, over now they're going to talk about iPad, how much they made over the past few months, and they say they sold about 2 million units, and how they, how an iPad gets bought every 3 seconds. So that's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, one of the um, biggest things for the iPhone is that Netflix is finally coming to the iPhone, and uh, they got their uh, speaker up there to test drive their uh, Netflix on the iPhone and it pretty much has the same controls as the iPad on a Netflix and it's pretty amazing and it shows you how the uh, search feature on the Netflix is pretty accurate and whatnot. and uh... second thing is Farmville. Farmville is finally coming to the iPhone I don't really care but some Farmville uh, people might do you can sync from your Facebook onto your iPhone so you can pretty much keep your stats and stuff and push notifications will alarm you in case your plants are ready for something. I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty cool for you Farmville fans out there. Uh, another thing, Activision came up to announce their Guitar Hero, which is uh, 2.99 right now, which is uh, available today. It pretty much works the same way as Tap Tab. You pretty much tap the keynotes on the iPhone at the right precise time. So that's pretty amazing. They showed a live demo about it. Next, Steve goes back on stage and talks about the U.S. smartphone market share and tells how the iPhone has 28% of it while the Android is pretty much down at 9%. And uh, now he talks about the iPhone. In 2007, the iPhone reinvents the phone. 2008, the iPhone 3G and the App Store is introduced. 2009, the iPhone 3GS is twice as fast. And 2010, the biggest leap since the original iPhone. Now he goes on to say, uh, the name of the new iPhone is going to be iPhone 4. That's it, just iPhone 4, not iPhone HD or G4 or 4G, it's iPhone 4. And of course, it's the all new design which you probably have seen from Gizmodo or any other uh, leaks that have been going on for the past uh, months or so. Now it's 9.3 millimeters uh, thick and 24% thinner. It's thinnest and, and it's a smartphone. I think they say it's the thinnest phone or smartphone out there in the planet. Uh, of course, they added new buttons on the side of the phone. There's the same mute button, and now there's two separate buttons for volume up and volume down. And they go to the back to indicate the camera plus LED flash. Uh, on top, they introduce or better explain the headset and the mic too which is built for uh, noise cancellation and uh, of course the sleep and wake button now uh, they further on go on to the seams of why there are small cuts around the iPhone and it's pretty much for uh, GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, UMTS and GSM uh, uh, how can I say it for better connection I bet and it pretty much is why they added those seams there on three separate parts of the iPhone which is a pretty good idea. The screen resolution is quite better than ever. They compare the iPhones and text actually. You can look at the text and how better sharp they are on the new iPhone. Uh, as you can see they're testing out the iPhone 3GS compared to the iPhone 4 and you can see there's a, a bit more sharpness in the text uh, between them. They sh uh, well they compare pictures and they compare the home screen and how uh, detailed it is. They go on to say about the 3.5 inch display, same same uh, size, 960 by 640 pixels, four times more. Uh, as already stated, 326 pixels uh, pixels per inch, 800 to one cast rest uh, ratio, and so on. So now existing apps look better. So so there's no need to worry about uh, new resolution apps that might cost extra just like the iPad did and inside the iPhone is the A4 chip a lot smaller 
but they did not say how fast the uh, iPhone is so we have no idea what's the clock speed uh, inside the iPhone they show you what's in there they show you the bigger battery uh, the 30 pin connector and so on uh, still more pictures about the the iPhone and they go on to say about the battery and how it's much better 3G talks is now 7 hours browsing 3G is 6 hours browsing Wi-Fi is 10 hours video is 10 hours music is uh, 40 hours and standby is 300 hours which is pretty amazing uh, they go on to say how the iPhone 4 is economic friendly and go on to say about it's uh, mercury free BFR free and stuff like that uh, they talk about more about the Apple A4 chip and its max is 32 gigabytes which gives you an idea that it's going to be 16 gigabyte for the lowest and 32 gigabyte for the highest and so forth next they talk about is the 3 axis gyro I think that's pronounced pitch roll and yaw rotation about gravity and it pretty much uh, provides the 6 action motion sensing which is better for like GPS I believe and other integrated stuff that the developers can do with it and now they talk about the camera which is uh, upgraded not from the lens or the megapixels but how they uh, rendered the camera so now it's 5 megapixels backside illuminated sensor 1.7 uh, size pixels I don't know how to pronounce that uh, word 5 times digital zoom tap to focus and of course LED flash they go on to uh, show pictures of the iPhone 4 camera see it's better quality and they revealed that the iPhone 4 would have the ability to do HD video recording at 720p at 30 frames per second there's also tap to focus video built in video editing one click sharing and LED flash and also coming to the iPhone 4 is iMovie for the iPhone which lets you uh, create your own projects, videos, on the go and uh, they show you, you can pretty much render it at uh, no, 360p, 540p and 720p so it's great options it's going to be on the app store for about 4.99. and uh, uh, they go on to talk about Bing making its way to the iPhone it's going to be a search engine but Google will still be the default search engine so you can always change it when you like it uh, now they're going to talk about the OS 4.0 and how they're going to rename it now they're going to rename it to iOS 4 so pretty much it's no longer going to be called iPhone OS it's going to be iOS and there's a hundred million uh, iOS device will be sold this month and uh, along with that iBook will be available to the iPhone now it's able to read PDF files now along with books and that feature would also be on the iPad they tell you that your download of books cannot be transferred into your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch so there's no extra charge and they show on uh, more books and stuff they move on to the iAd which is uh... they say to help our developers earn money so they continue to create free uh... low cost apps and uh... that's pretty much it but then again they uh went back on stage to do the one more thing and now what they did is uh, demonstrate the new uh, face chat which is pretty much iChat on the iPhone it's a uh, free client that's already built in the iPhone and uh, they demonstrated uh, FaceTime uh, FaceTime which actually lets you use your iPhone 4's uh, front facing camera to do video calling and they did that in the WWDC which is pretty amazing and uh, you can do portrait and landscape and it's sadly only for Wi-Fi only uh... they show more pictures and videos and what they do and now there's like two colors front facing color for white is white of course unlike the iPhone 3GS where they only had the white back so just a black and a white version uh, there's gonna the pricing is uh, 199 for the 16 gigabyte model and 299 for the 32 gigabyte model. Uh, let's see what else. iPhone 3GS 8 gigabyte will be 100, and iPhone 4 16 gigabyte 200, iPhone 4 32 gigabyte model 300. Uh, the release date is June 24th, which I believe is a Thursday. 
Uh, yep, it's a Thursday, and the pre-order starts June 15th, so mark your calendars. Uh, they're already gonna uh, be uh, accessories like the cases, there's like three new cases, white, pink, orange, green, light blue, and uh, black for about $29. And that's pretty much it guys, that's pretty much the keynote and I hope you enjoy, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.